I'm going to teach something a little bit that I was actually saving for uh, another prophetic school. So, it is a little extra special. Wow. I see. And that is because I love Mama T, so I'm going to do. But as a child of God, you must always behave like you will not be here tomorrow. You see, many of you will never walk closely with God because you think there is tomorrow. God has even concealed that telling you tomorrow is not promised. The one who is giving you life is telling you tomorrow is not promised. That means he wants you to live with a certain mindset. So, anyone who lives like there is tomorrow, there is the next day, there is the next day, is somebody that will never walk closely with God. If you don't think about eternity you are far from God I'll say that again if you don't live your life thinking about eternity longing to be with God you are carnal Jesus lived for 33 and a half years and he was looking forward to living Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. He was longing to be absent from the body. The apostles, all of them. Many of you have not started living for God because you are still alive. The devil attacks you because you are carnal. When the devil looks at you and he knows you have nothing to lose but everything to gain, he will leave you alone. The devil knows that if he touches this, you will cry. He will touch it. And God will allow him to because God wants to remove you from an emotional place. Yesterday I did this small live and I was doing it. I've been talking with my son Victor and I said, you know, I'll do a proper live. Yesterday I did it a little bit. I don't know if some of you watched it, but... Huh? Sorry? Uh, you know, you, I'm telling you the truth. Many of you think you know God, you don't know God. You don't even know the love of God. You think you do, you don't. You want emotions, but emotions is not love. Jesus doesn't hand out roses. It's a lie. That's not love. God has emotions, but God is not emotional. God is sensitive, but he doesn't make decisions based on his sensitivity. Uh, what is to be sensitive? To be sensitive is the ability to know where somebody is. So you can relate to where they are. But just because I can relate to you doesn't mean that will be the basis of my decision. That's how God thinks. I gave an example. Jesus goes to an, an apostle that was supposed to be one of the apostles. And he goes to him. Remember, Jesus is God. He goes to him when his father has died. And he tells him, follow me. Well, his father's body is cold in the house. Telling him, follow me. He said, let me go and bury my father. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. If I ever did that to you, you will say, this man has no love. This man is cold. This man is not even sensitive. How can he tell me to follow him when my father's body is cold? He's not even been laid to the ground. You won't even give me 40 days to mourn according to our customs. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. No sensitivity. Why did Jesus do that? He knew he was attached to his family. When Jesus went to Peter, he went to Peter when Peter had the biggest breakthrough in his fishing career. And Peter left everything. Anyone that Jesus went to had something to lose. That's so good. That's so good. Huh. Oh, that's so good. Say it 